Hi everyone and welcome. I am Ruz Beshar. In this short video, I'll make an adjustment to the business services layer that we implemented in the previous tutorial. This adjustment is about the save async method, so let's have a look at it. As you see, it has a parameter named entity to save of type T entity, which is in turn of type entity base and hence an object. Because the parameter is reference type, any changes made to it, like the auto-generated values by the database engine, will be available to the caller method. So, we don't need to return it as the result. Instead, let's return the number of entries written to the database, which are reported by the save changes method of the dbcontext class. So, we'll have... We also need to modify the method declaration in the interface. That's all. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any suggestion to improve the content of this channel, I'd be happy to have them. Thanks for your watching, I'll see you in the upcoming tutorial soon.